everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this squishy cactus using the supplies from the June Sophie and Toffee Premium Elves box. I know that a squishy cactus doesn't exactly go with the theme of the box, but I know that other crafters have already made videos on how to do the gummies and candy, so I thought I would show you how you can use the squishy gel in a different way. So in this box we received squishy gel, soft UV resin, squishy pigment dye, acrylic paints and brushes, a jelly bean mold, a marshmallow mold, a candy heart mold, a palette for mixing paint, zigzag scissors, a bag sealer, plastic sweets bags, colourful ball chains, and then the premium items were four animal moulds, a bunny, panda, hamster and seal. And then there was also some washi tape included as well. So to begin making my cactus, I firstly took some of my polymer clay. This colour is called Grey Granite by Primo. I began by shaping the pot and that's what I was going to sit the cactus in. So that's what I'm doing here. I then took a small ball of brown clay for the dirt and I just flattened this down onto my work surface and then placed it on top of the pot. Then using my needle tool I just gently textured the clay so that it looked like dirt. Next I wanted to make a rim around the pot so I took some more of the grey granite colour and I rolled it into a coil on my work surface. Using a rolling pin I then carefully flattened this down and then I used a long blade to neaten the edges and cut it all to shape. You can then wrap this around the pot and cut off the excess clay before blending the join together. So here's what my pot looks like. Next up I took some scrap clay to make a prototype for the cactus because I'm going to be making a mold later on. So firstly I rolled this clay into a ball and then I rolled one side of it so that it was more of a teardrop kind of shape before then cutting off the end so that I had a flat side. I just kept working on the shape until I was happy with it and I also tested the size of it in my pot just to make sure that it would fit. Lastly for the clay pieces, I went ahead and made a flower, so I'm using a yellow and two shades of pink. I began by cutting some small spikes of the yellow and then rolling balls of both of the pink clays before shaping them into petals and then just placing it all together. Once I was happy with all my clay pieces, I then went ahead and baked them in my oven according to my package's instructions. So here they all are once they've been baked. I then went ahead and took a silicon mold maker and this is actually from a previous Sophie and Toffee Elves box. This mold maker has a one to one ratio so what I did was take two even sized balls of each part and then just mix them together. I then rolled it into a ball and then it was time to push in my cactus prototype making sure that it was sitting nice and snug inside of the mould and then I allowed this to dry. Once the mould was dry I popped out the clay and then it was time to begin making the squishy cactus so I took the squishy gel from inside the box and this also has a one to one ratio so I poured equal amounts in two different cups. 
I then poured one of the parts into the other and then I began mixing it around. It did get quite bubbly so I did let it sit for a little while and then the bubbles came to the top and they were able to pop. To add some colour, I'm using the squishy pigments from the box. I started off by adding white and yellow and then gradually adding some blue until I was happy with the shade of green that I had. You then want to pour this into the mould that we created and leave it for 24 hours to dry and become squishy. The next day I went ahead and removed the cactus from the mould. It was quite difficult to get out so I didn't get to show it on camera but I did manage to get it out without damaging it. To stick my squishy cactus down on the pot I used some of the soft UV resin as a glue and I just applied this onto the dirt and then positioned the cactus on top. And because it is UV resin you will need a UV light to cure it. I then just did the same for the flower on top. I applied a little bit of resin onto the cactus and then I scented my flower before curing it. Now we just need to add the final details. So you can take the acrylic paint and I began by painting on a little kawaii face and also adding lots of little black spots all the way around for the spikes of the cactus. And there you have it. This is what my finished squishy cactus looks like and I'm really happy with the way it came out. It looks super cute when you squish it down. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.